What's good? It's your boy Fly Guy GBG back at you again with another video. And today, it's exciting. Yo, I'm excited. I, I don't know. I'm definitely excited today. Y'all boys been showing a tremendous amount of love on my last few videos, but on top of that, we got something big to talk about. We talking NBA Live 20. But y'all already know. Before I get too far into this video, tell a hater what? Worry about yourself. It's no secret, no matter which teams you pick in NBA Live, each and every team plays the exact same. The Rockets don't have their ISO-centric play styles and the Warriors aren't passing the ball around, always looking for the open man. Outside of the very few signature animations and signature abilities, literally every team and player look almost exactly alike. Playbooks don't really vary from team to team and there isn't really a lot of player specific plays. This is all an issue. So to combat this issue, it's literally something EA Sports has had in the past. That would be the addition of Court Q or Synergy from the past NBA Live titles. Basically, Court Q was the X's and O's of how teams and players would mimic their real life counterpart. The only thing is, in the past EA didn't have the animations to match. Now it's a whole different time and although they still need more animations, at the very least, they have the basics that can help each and every basketball game play differently. From role players to major stars, this will help with tendencies per each team, as long as it's updated consistently with new team tendencies. It's time for the NBA portion to get some love, and this would help tremendously. As I stated before, a lot of the time NBA Live has a bunch of clone players on the floor because outside of jump shots or some signature dribble moves, everyone looks and plays the exact same. More animations is a must, more mannerisms, more, more, more. Not only have the animations in the game, but have it so we can actually choose these animations for our The One player. Now in my opinion, I don't like that we have to unlock animations. That makes it so a lot of players play the exact same. If all animations were available at launch, but they costed RP to unlock, would be much more welcome, given that that's already what people are used to in the other game, except you don't have to pay for RP. Size ups, dribble packages, shot animations, dunks, layups, and whatever else should be unlocked via RP so that we can unlock literally anything. This would have more people playing differently because currently there isn't a lot of player differentiation in the game. Also would make more for a competitive scene. Because right now, I can log on to NBA Live 19 and run into more than one Fly Guy GBG because they are using the exact same animations that I use. I know for a fact there are so many people that would enjoy both a shot creator and a shoot creator. Myself as a YouTuber, creating the perfect shot that is mostly cash money for my player and being able to show others the perfect jump shot is something that I would enjoy personally, but outside of me, I know too many people that want more customization for their players, so a shoe creator and shot creator is going to have many people enjoying the game because of the customization, especially given that in the past NBA Live has had a shoe creator literally two generations ago. And I don't think it would be too much to ask if they actually brought it back. Also, this is literally things that the competition has, and they've been doing it for years. And I know people are going to say, but I don't want NBA Live to be like NBA 2K. And I agree. But to build a fan base, NBA Live is going to have to do some similar things in order for people to come over and have some familiarity with the game. I mean, for real. The NBA Live community currently is so small that everyone knows everyone. We need more people in this community. I often hear many people talking about how they would enjoy if NBA Live had an open world. This is one thing I agree yet disagree with at the same time. Think about it. NBA Live 18 and 19 have had server issues the entire time they've been out. And NBA 2K hasn't gotten servers fixed on my park since its inception in NBA 2K 14. So what makes us think? The NBA Live 20 would be able to get it right on the first go around. Now instead of that, I present the rack. Reminiscent of NBA Live 10's The Hangar, an open gym style field where you can walk around and openly meet up 
with other people. Play 1v1 games, work out with your player, and when you're finally ready to do so, go into matchmaking with your team to play against other teams. Not only does this give them the impression of an open world to appeal to the masses, but you know EA. They want that one thing they can sell to. This is that thing that I think will give those 2K players a 2K-like feel, but with NBA Live spin on it. My part is still the most played mode on NBA 2K. Just imagine what this could do for NBA Live. Also, the name The Rec fits in perfectly with the one and the league. Since NBA Live 14, EA Sports has not in any way, shape, or form improved franchise mode. And it's something that's in dire need of some type of attention. If you're an offline player of sports games, it's next to impossible for you to have fun on NBA Live, when all actuality, they don't even have to reinvent the wheel in order to make franchise mode more appealing. A few things that would make this mode much better than it is right now would be three team trades, no trade clauses, custom playbooks. Imagine being able to run your own plays that you customize that you put in the game. And that's all great and stuff, but what about another thing that would be different that isn't in any basketball game? What if you could use your player as the GM or the coach of the team and being able to conduct interviews almost like a story driven franchise without having to have an overabundance of cutscenes? A lot of franchise players like being able to create their own storylines. These few things would be ways to do so. Two different franchise settings should be able to be chosen, casual and simulation. So EA can cater to two different audiences, casual being a more streamlined version. Simulation being a more analytically driven version of franchise with more depth. Like in all honesty, I don't feel like anything that I just mentioned was something that EA Sports cannot do. I feel like it would be easy for them to implement these kinds of things. Man, for us competitive players, a skill gap is needed for live run and if EA Sports decides to go to a more competitive route, it's literally too easy to be good at everything on this game. For example, for some reason, rim protectors are able to shoot corner threes at a high clip. Literally, almost every playstyle can do everything, which takes away variety, and on top of that, it doesn't show the main attributes of what that specific playstyle can do. I know I've talked about this before, but a layup meter or a layup indicator, whether it's a small vibration in the controller or something visual letting us know when to release that layup to make it, would be more than welcome. Also, being able to choose what type of dunk or layup we do is overdue in my opinion. Whether we go up left or right handed is all something that needs to be controlled by the user. The user controlling competitive play needs to be paramount right now. A 70 overall can be just as successful as a 99 overall on the court. Stop holding their hands. Let them learn the game. EA is afraid of failure if people don't like to learn the game. Don't be afraid. Just let them play. Last but not least, and most importantly, make sure the gameplay is right. Now what that means is, it's a culmination of everything that I've already said in this video. Animations, skill gap, franchise, everything, AI, just everything needs to be improved in order for people to enjoy this game even more. Personally, from an animation standpoint, you guys are way behind NBA 2K. You do need to catch up in that department in order for people to take the game seriously because people see NBA Live and they see that it doesn't have as many animations because they see the same animations in every single person's videos, every single person's streams, not any differentiation is going on in this game. However, I will say the actual motion is already better than NBA 2K. I mean, realistically, it really is. Think about it. NBA 2K just announced that they're going to bring back their off-ball mechanics that they've had in the past, but make them better. Why are they doing that? Because right now, NBA Live has the better off-ball movement that most people don't even use. It's not even something that people use, and it's really good in this game. So as I said before, more, more, more. Animations, we need more of. But when you make a new animation, also give us the control to actually pull off that animation so everything is seamless it is one to one now this is just a little bit of things that ea sports can improve with on nba live 20. what do you guys think that ea sports can do i want to see in the comments below let me know everything that you want to see in nba live moving forward 
because I really feel like EA Sports is in a make or break year. So it's about that time that they go ahead and fix everything that they have wrong with this game. If not, I don't think there'll be an NBA Live 21. I've always thought of Michael Jordan as a wing scorer. And since he is a wing scorer, in my opinion, I went ahead and created him as the icon ability for DeMar DeRozan. Not saying DeMar DeRozan is any way in any shape or form as good as Michael Jordan, but they have similar games in the fact that they kind of play in the mid-range and they very seldom...